This morning on Daybreak, meet one father in the Ozarks who's finally found a way for his kids to eat their veggies and the business venture that followed. And Eden Village is preparing to help those who have spent past Thanksgivings on the streets spend this holiday in their own home. Plus, Missouri's main portion of firearms deer season has come to a close. Still a few sessions left, though, for people to practice safe hunting. We'll explain that and more this morning on Daybreak. Good morning, and thanks for waking up with us. It's Wednesday, November 21st. I'm Lauren Barnes. I'm Joe Moreno. Time to get after it. A lot of people probably awake, packing. Getting ready to hit the road, right? Yeah, a big travel day, I'm sure. I know yesterday was, too. Exactly. So everyone wants to know the weather. We check right in with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. She has the forecast first today. What is everyone expecting as they get out on the roads? We really lucked out this year, yeah. like we did last year, too. Last year was pretty quiet also. But we've got dry roads out there, regionally, even nationally. Things would be pretty quiet today. Very nice to hear. Yeah. <laughs> so we're starting out a little bit cold. It's 30 degrees in Branson. We've got these dry roads and a couple of clouds out there this morning. 36 degrees with that south and southwest wind. Clear skies, not too much in the way of cloud cover at all this morning. Again, things staying quiet. Temperatures a little bit chilly. It's 29 in Springfield, 33 in Rawa, and 36 in Branson. Your commute forecast if you're going to work or school this morning, dry roads this morning and then dry roads this evening will have a clear conditions both days uh, or both times. Temperatures today warmer than yesterday, 59 degrees, seasonal sunshine, and just beautiful out there today. We're tracking some quiet travel for today. A terrific Thanksgiving, wet Black Friday, and a wind swept showers on Sunday as a potent storm moves through. Details on that in 10 minutes. A Springfield police officer is out of the hospital after a drunk driver smashed into the back of his patrol car. Police arrested a driver for driving while intoxicated after that accident late Monday night. The patrol car was stopped at a red light when it happened. Springfield Police Chief Paul Williams tweeted after the crash saying one officer was injured in the incident. That officer has since been treated at a hospital and was released soon after. Police say a woman is in the hospital with critical injuries after a hit and run where the driver ran her over in the street. All of this happened after the woman's car was rear ended at Campbell and University Street. Police say the victim got out of her car, but the driver attempted to flee the scene and ran the woman over. Then the same driver rear ended a second car while continuing to flee. We don't know the woman's name just yet, and we're also told police have conducted sobriety tests for the driver. We're continuing to look for updates this morning, though. We move on to a local spotlight for you now. We've all been there. A kid who doesn't want to eat their veggies. It drove our parents crazy, I'm sure, and now it's driving one dad in the Ozarks to find a solution. The sun has brought it up to 65. And probably a couple more hours, it'll be 85, 90 degrees in here. Despite some wintry conditions, Brian Karlstrom has been busy growing microgreens in his backyard greenhouse. These small plants would eventually grow into the full vegetable, but are harvested in their toddler phase. In less than two weeks, he'll be a happy parent. One of the big benefits is that they grow them and then they're interested in them, so then they eat them. So I can get them to actually eat vegetables this way. They won't eat the mature vegetables, but they love eating these little baby vegetables, mainly because they participated in growing them. Nutritionists say these small plants pack a punch, too. For Brian, it's a way to healthier kids and supplemental income. Three restaurants in the Ozarks are regular buyers. I almost cried whenever everybody was down here. I'm not trying to hold back my tears. It's the things often taken for granted that people in Eden Village will be thankful for this week. The community has residents who will spend their first Thanksgivings in a home after living on the street for years. Tim Michaels is one of those men. He's 55 years old and has never lived in his own place until this past weekend when he was handed the keys to his own tiny home. In 2004, he lost his mobile home after not being able to pay the rent, and he's been homeless ever since. Now he's still getting used to things like just having his own bathroom. Everything is a struggle, trying to get a shower, trying to get your laundry done. We've got laundry facilities here. I can go in here and take a shower anytime I want to. <laughs> I can take three of them today if I want to. <laughs> Don't have to worry about standing in line and my name not being called today. And Eden Village will have a Thanksgiving dinner at its community center for all of its residents to enjoy. That's coming for them on November 30th. 
November is Homeless Awareness Month, and members of Community Partnership of the Ozarks want to shine a light on a specific problem in the community. CPO hosted a panel discussion about barriers that homeless minorities experience in receiving services. Adam Bowdendeck is the director of Homeless Services for Community Partnership. He told us the discussion they had was about laying a foundation for the future. We want to build on that foundation, take a good look at our system of services, see are we reaching everybody? If so, are we doing it well? If not, what do we need to change and why is that? Minorities make up 15% of the population in Springfield, but 22% of homeless people in the city identify as minorities. Missouri's main portion of firearms deer season came to a close last night, and the season saw multiple injuries or fatalities. There are still a few hunting sessions left this year, so you can get practice safe hunting. Francis Skalicki with the Missouri Department of Conservation says there are a number of rules people should follow, including wearing that fluorescent orange that many relate to with hunting. Also, no need to have your firearm loaded until you're in your stand or blind or any stationary position. Skalicki also says safety should be at the top priority during what's the biggest event of the year for many Missourians. It's a time to obviously get a very good healthy meat for your table. It's a time to see friends, family, maybe you haven't seen since last deer season. But don't let a lapse in judgment make it a season that you'll remember for all the wrong reasons. And Skalicki could not comment on any specific hunting injury reports, but Joe Jarek from the MDC's Jeff City office says the report on the total number of accidents and the total number of deer harvested will be released later on today. Still ahead, plenty coming for you guys on Daybreak. Stocks skidded on Wall Street, actually erasing most of the gains for the year. Plus, an update warning about the E. coli linked to romaine lettuce, why health officials are warning to just throw it all away. From Color 10 Ozarks First, Lauren Barnes, Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. This is Color 10 News Daybreak.